Welcome Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Capricorns, um, this is the first week before your birthday starts. And this week is from November 30th until um, December 6th. So Capricorns, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Some sort of a luck is here in this week for you. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing back something that was stolen from your project. They're going to be finding out that a group of people had collaborated together in order to steal from you. And they have found these people. You are going to be very, very successful. So I, t I say to a lot of people, money doesn't have to be in a week um, for you to be successful. Success is here. Three times seven, ladies and gentlemen. Three times seven, the seven of pentacles, the seven of wands, and the seven of swords. They found out some sort of a deceptiveness so, um, that people were collaborating in order to work against you. And I see you are going to be successfully overcoming this. The energy of the sun is showing the lies and deceptiveness how um, people had uh, stolen from you and your company or your corporation. And I see truths are coming out. Uh, the bone collector, and when the bone collector shows up, um, you have to be on your best energy because the bone collector is coming up, and that is one energy in this deck of card that uh, whenever the bone collector comes up, is that uh, you're going to be finding out that people have been working against you and that people have been uh, using you. So you are um, old and have everything you need. When the bold connector appear, she is asking you to look closely at your circle. That means look closely at your circle of friends and the people around you to see if you are fully present or reacting out of past condition and unconscious expectation. Whenever we are wounded, especially when we are young, it is as if something um, um, is stolen from us. So we adapt and accept a particular version of the truth that then set us up uh, to behave a certain ways in the future when faced with a situation that reminds us of an original event. And that is so true. When we know about ourselves that thus become influenced by a perception of limitation, you may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as floating and are not grounded or expect to be criticized. No matter what your question is, the bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful beam with limitless possibilities. She has kept you safe. What was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. Capricorns, reclaim it. You have everything you believe in you lacked. And the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you will find you have it all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wound of the past needs not define who you are. All right, Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns. I so love that. So the bone collector is here and it's bringing back. So you see the wheel of fortune and the sun. And this is what I say to a lot of people and a lot of people who um, are aware of how it is um, um, when the, the wheel of fortune and the sun, because if you notice this week is being protected by Aya source and energy, the wheel of fortune um, gave the knowledge of uh, Fortune, something is coming back, something that was stolen from you, money, uh, whatever that was stolen from you in the past is coming back from your business, a project, business that should have come in, it is coming back, okay? And I see also that people are going to be wanting to work with you because people have realized that a lot of people have deceived you of a lot of money. I see a lot of you are dealing with a child or a young person or a young lover, this person is not to be trusted. This person is really deceptive, okay? I don't know um, who this person is and how this person affects your life, but it's, this person is very deceptive. 
um, it's not this person is not supposed to be trusted whoever this person is is really two-faced is a is a snake okay this person is two-faced is a snake so be aware of this but something is going to be returned what this person have stolen from you so I see some of you had some regret about a project or about a connection you had some sort of a regrets and um, I see um, a lot of opportunity is now going to be opening up for you because you had some sort of an emotional situation that with your project or your business. And now a lot of opportunities is going to be open for you. Um, your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. So this is a really wonderful wonderful alignment of energies because your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true because you stand your ground and you watch your business and your project and people were jealous of your business and your project there is no question about it a whole lot of people was just jealous of your business and your project a whole lot of jealousy was going on about some project you were working on or your business and I see a whole lot of jealousy was around you. And it has to do with a Pisces man. Whoever the Pisces man is, um, I see the Pisces man. You got to be aware, aware of who this person is and protect yourself from this person. Because this Pisces man is a very jealous person. And this man was trying to block you and could have taken from you. Financial stability is going to be coming in, in this week. I see whatever that was stolen is going to be a return okay whoever the spices man is is uh, try to steal your work and uh, um they have found out here we are we have the energy of judgment um judgment but it is positive news this judgment if you notice they're helping out uh, uh, someone so i see your spirit guys is going to be coming down and it's going to be helping out some of you especially with a project it's as if uh, a pisces man was creating some sort of an issue around your project i see they're going to be ending um the theft they found out that there was some really criminal offense that was transpiring where people were stealing people were collaborating and stealing from your project and they're going to be finding out uh, um, how these people have been doing it and they're bringing it in. So if you see the energy of the debt, the debt is that whoever was trying to steal something and get away, people were working together with each other to steal and get away. And it was a Pisces, um, Cancer or Scorpion person. They're going to be catching this person. So what um, what is happening is that they realize that a young, um, a young and an old Pisces uh, cancer or scorpion person was trying to steal from you but they caught the young person they have definitely caught the young person okay so it was a young person it's not showing up whether it was a pisces cancer or a scorpion um uh, uh it's a, a cancer it's showing up a cancer um and a pisces man a young cancer and a pisces man or yeah that's a man was stealing from you and i see you stood your ground and stand your ground so another four another seven so you have four times seven wow whatever is happening a four times seven so what they realize is that uh, um this young person is a cancer person you stood your ground against this cancer person whatever this cancer person was doing and whatever deceptiveness uh, i see it's coming to an end the energy of the debt it's coming to an end. They found out what this cancer person have done. And your wealth and materialist wealth and is going to be coming back because they realize what this cancer person has done. So this cancer person tried to steal your luck. Um, and they found out what this cancer person, this cancer together with the Pisces, have created a whole lot of issues. And especially business women, your um, your whatever they've stole is going to be returned to you because they realize the lies and the deceptiveness of these two people and how they were they work to collaborate and steal from you. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You know me. I just have to ask about the snake, this snake. But uh, we have to. Who and what is this snake? The snake, the snake, the snake. The snake is an Aries Leo Sagittarius man. 
God, this man is jealous of you. Lies and deceptiveness, they found out. So two side, they have realized that a Aries Lear and a Sagittarian man is your greatest enemy and how he tries to steal from you. And I see a corporation came down on this person. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, but I, I just have to find out who the snake is. Whenever there's some cards that come up, seven of swords and the snake, this is a fire sign person. And this is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. And if you notice on two sides, it is showing up the deceptiveness. The energy of the snake um, has to do with a Taurus Virgo, um, a Sagittarius, a, a Aries Leo or Sagittarius man who is a businessman and a criminal and is your biggest enemy. Okay, is your biggest enemy. And this person has stolen a lot of money from you. And I see a tower moment is coming down for this person and the deceptiveness that he has done. And a corporation, institution. And that's why the bold collector come for this person in order for you to regain your stability. Okay, and this is going to be good. So I see secrets of the past comes out. Um, it is a week where a secret from the past come out. You have the energy of, of the Wheel of Fortune. Now let's look at your project. So I see some of you were worried and regret a situation with a project, but there is no need because I see this project is going to be picking up again. So sometimes you have high and low in business or it was a project that you were working on and it kind of still stand and then it's going to be picking up again. The seven of wands, I see you are going to be standing your ground. So um, you are standing your grounds with a situation. I see you're going to be financially secured and you're standing your grounds with a situation. So if you notice this week is like you're standing your grounds, whatever is coming at you, you're standing your grounds. You're definitely standing your grounds. And especially Tuesday, you're, you're watching everyone. It's like you stand in the center and you're turning around, turning around, turning around to see your enemies. You're make sure you're covering your ground on Tuesday. It's like you're standing and you're covering your grounds and you're seeing everyone who is approaching you and you're standing your grounds and really Really covering your grounds and watching and there is one person if you notice you uh, haven't turned your back to the spicy this man whoever the spicy man is have a whole lot of secrets okay um yeah the spicy man has a whole lot of secrets and your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true because they're going to be finding out that the spicy man try to block your business in order to copy your business and try to take it as his own and I see they end that because he was working with other people. Pisces man, this, this, and this is an old Pisces man, but it's a crooked person. It's a very jealous, crooked businessman. And they found out what he was trying to do. Judgment call is going to be coming down on some sort of a collaboration. They have found out that people had collaborated in order to steal from you. And I see they're going to be caught on Friday. On Friday, they are going to be caught and I see that you're going to be regaining your financial stability and you're going to be regaining back your materialistic wealth because they found out um, what these people was doing. A judgment call is definitely going to be coming um, down on a... Um, on um, uh, uh, um, people who had gathered and worked together, I see they found out the network and I see they're taking it down on Friday. Then we see some sort of information is coming in, um, the four of pentacles, and I see you're standing your ground. Whatever is happening, I see you could be receiving some sort of a message um, about some money and you're standing your ground like hell no. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. So I see you're really standing your ground about a whole other situation. I see your wishes and dreams is going to be coming out because people are going to be finding out um, what a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man have done. And I see you're standing your ground against this and you're saying, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing this and I'm not going to be 
um, um, you know, and then my business thing. And I see you stood your ground against a, a cancer person and a judgment call is coming down on this cancer man and this spicy cancer and scorpion man that had worked together in order to create some sort of a criminal offense. They have caught the cancer. They're going to be catching the cancer and they have caught the cancer. They realized that the cancer had collaborated with other people in order to steal some money. So this week is like a powerful week for you Capricorns. It is four times seven, seven to seven, seven to seven. Whatever you're doing in this week is a yes. You're on the right track. A lot of secrets from the past about a Pisces man is going to be coming out. And you're going to be finding out who this man is. And I see you're standing your ground um, against this person. I see you have no regrets, but you're just standing your ground and like, no. Nope. You know, I don't know who you are. No, I'm not doing any business with you. I don't want to do any business with you. Um, I, you know, I don't want to be a part of your team neither. I'm, I'm good. I'm good the way I am. So I see a lot of you business women are going to be standing your ground in this week because you business women are finding out that a Pisces man, whoever the Pisces man is and whatever that was transpiring, the Pisces man was not being very honest and truths are going to be coming out and people are going to be seeing the truth about what has been happening and transpiring and how the Pisces man have not been very honest to some of you. Whether it's a business person, it's coming up as a business person or it's coming up as a boss or some greedy person because this person has only greed. And I see secrets is coming out because this person is like this person wants you to shut down something or something so that he can be and you're like, hell no, um, I've created my business and my world. No, I'm not going to be shutting down anything so that you can have um, your, you know, and this person is just really horrible because this person steal your own, your ideas. This person was on your computer, steal your ideas, and then it's going to, and I see they're going to shut it down on Friday because they have pick up all the people who have collaborated in order to work against you. And I see they're going to be shutting it down on Friday. You see the energy of debt to the deceptive play that was transpiring. And you're going to be successfully overcoming and getting out of a horrible situation that a criminal man, um, a criminal man, this man could be a businessman, an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius businessman, or this man could have worked in a, Got um, a bank financial institute a corporation tried to do some sort of a criminal um, situation. And I see a tower moment is coming down on this man because they have found out what this man has done. Capricorn is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I can't say it is a lot. I love you guys. Please like and share. It's going to be a beautiful week. Whoever this criminal man is, I see a tower moment is coming down on this man. Um, and, uh, this um and um, some of you this 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 man you could have been in a relationship with this man um and I I I see they're going to be realizing but it, I don't think so for some of you you might have been in a relationship with this man and this man took a lot of money and access your information and I see that this is what has transpired so the bone collector is coming in to collect from a. Um, Aries Lee or Sagittarius man, they realized that this man was a criminal and a liar and a bone collector is coming in to collect from him in order to return your materialistic wealth and asset. I gotta go. Namaste until next time.